For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. When it comes to eternal life, it's your option. It's not mandatory that all people go to hell, heaven. It's your choice. And God has set forth a standard. And Jesus said, I am the way. Not me, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. To wish or hope you're going to go to heaven does not make it so. I could wish if I was handsome, but that wish would be in vain. You not must wish to get to heaven, you must believe. And the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Now salvation will change your location from hell to heaven. Salvation is not going to guarantee to change your health and your circumstances. It may get worse. There is a reservation book to make reservations as you would for a hotel to go to heaven. It's called the Lamb's Book of Life. And when your name is in the Lamb's Book of Life, your reservations are set for a place called heaven. Now to get your name in the Lamb's Book of Life, you must come to the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And that Lamb is Jesus Christ. Now the wages of sin is death. We're going to die. That is your payment for being a sinner. Whether it be 40 hours, 40 days, 40 years. As a sinner, death will pay you with death. But the Bible verse of Romans 6.23 says, The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For God so loved the world that he gave, there's the gift, his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God, hell, abiding upon him. And when you go to hell because you have rejected Jesus, you live in hell and you don't move. And then one day, death and hell will be cast into the lake of fire, and so will you. Because you refuse to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Going to heaven is set forth by Jesus, and Jesus alone. Being good 
good is not good enough when the Bible says that there is none that do it good. No, not one. So you can't do something to go to heaven when the Bible says you can't do it. You are not righteous enough. God made Jesus to be sin for us who knew no sin. that we may have the righteousness of God in Him, Jesus Christ. For all have come short of the glory of God. And to fill that glory short is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to get to heaven. That gap between you and God at death can only be filled by the merit and the work of Jesus Christ. Now the Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Now when you can outdo what Jesus Christ has done, being God, then you can save yourself. Until then you can pay for your own sins in hell, but you will pay for your sins in hell for all eternity. Whereas Jesus Christ paid our sins in three days and three nights, according to the scripture. The only thing you can do according to the scriptures is the wages of sin is death. You can do that very well. Today, somewhere in the world, there is some kind of funeral. Today, somewhere, somebody did not wake up in their morning. Yeah, that's right. Preaching. People today went off into eternity. Yeah. They went into heaven by Jesus Christ. And they went into hell by anything but Jesus. Yeah. Now, the world will tell you to go to hell. But we stand here and preach tell you how not to go to hell. And that is putting your faith and trust in the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Jesus Christ. You cannot be saved without Him. You are not going to heaven without Him. You can think all you want, you can go to church all you want, you can believe whatever you, if you have not put your faith and belief upon Jesus Christ, you're not safe. And if you have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not go to heaven. You will not make it. With the best intentions, with the best thoughts, only the best Jesus Christ can save your soul. God says, come now, let us, the invitation is come, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow through the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Eternal life is set by God. And God is Jesus Christ. 
And when God says that His blood purchased the church in Acts 20:28, 20, that blood that purchased the, the, the church is the blood of Calvary, which is Jesus. So Jesus is God through the blood. Jesus has always been God, is God, and will always be God. God manifested in the flesh of the virgin birth who suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture. That is what will get you to heaven. The eternal God is offering to His creation, and we are created of God. There is no evolution. You be a monkey's uncle, I'll be a child of God. And to be a child of God, you must come through Jesus Christ. The Bible says that there is one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Mary is not a man. She can't do it. The Son of God, not the daughter, the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Listen, there are good people in hell. There are religious people in hell. There are no born again Christians in hell. And if you are born again, and you are washed in the blood, you will not be in hell. Not by what you have done, but what Jesus had done. When we get to glory, we will worship the Lamb and not us. When we come here and preach Jesus, preaching Jesus is not saving my soul. It pleases God, but it don't save me. I am washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. I preach Jesus Christ because I love Jesus and I am not ashamed of the gospel. Though the Bible tells me go preach the gospel, I love speaking about Jesus. Your salvation cannot be your salvation. It has to be God's salvation. And God's salvation is the Lord Jesus Christ. Ask me how I know I'm going to heaven and I know through Jesus Christ. These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. And that eternal life rests in Jesus. And if your answer to going to heaven is anything but Jesus, you're not going. You say, preacher, I'm good. I say, there is none that doeth good. No, not one. Well, preacher, I fear God. The devils fear God and tremble, and they're not going to heaven. Preacher, I go to church. Which denomination saves you? There's so many of them. 
If church was the answer, why is there so many denominations? I mean, listen, if you got a problem with your foot, you don't go to the heart doctor. If you got a heart problem, you don't go to the psychiatrist. If you want to go to heaven, you don't go to church. You go to Jesus Christ who can save your soul, the Lamb of God. Jesus said, I am the way. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. It doesn't say, believe in baptism. It says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. God's glory is the glory of Jesus Christ. God is well pleased with Jesus. Yes. God told the apostles to go out and preach Jesus. Listen, the healing and all that is gone. But the salvation in the blood of Jesus is not gone. The blood of Jesus is still flowing for you to be saved. Are you washed in the blood? Have you come to Jesus for the cleansing power? The amazing grace that saved a wrench like me is Jesus' blood. Jesus suffering and dying upon Calvary. Only by Jesus Christ can you be saved. There is no stairway to heaven, but there is a mighty God that can get you to heaven. And that mighty God, Jesus said, I am the way. Thomas said, my Lord, my God. Jesus Christ, after his resurrection, was seen over 400 people. You can't even get 400 people here. There is not enough people here that saw Jesus alive and well after he was sealed in the tomb. Your hope has to be the blessed hope, and the blessed hope is Jesus Christ. When the, the cherubim in heaven, holy, 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 belongs to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. It does not belong to you and me. No cherubim's gonna walk up to me and say, holy, holy, holy. He's gonna say, styling, baloney, baloney, baloney. God, holy, holy, holy. To get to heaven, the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Saved from what? Hell. Don't go to hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You're yelling, I'm preaching. 
would be your pastor preaches the truth, the life, the way, and they don't. We come here to tell you to believe on Jesus and nothing else can save your soul. Now, are you saved? We'll get you in a Bible-believing church that you may grow and get right with God as a child of God. But church is not going to save your soul. Anything you can do is not going to save your soul. Jesus says, what shall a man exchange for his soul? Absolutely nothing but the finished work of Jesus. I was once a Catholic. I was going to hell. I once went to a church. I was going to hell. At the time, I wasn't going to church. I was going to hell. I'm going to hell too. The day that I believed on the Lord Jesus Christ is the day that my name got in the Lamb's Book of Life. And I've got the reservations to heaven by Jesus Christ and by Jesus Christ alone. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Jesus said, come on to me if you're heavy laden. You got burdens, you got troubles, you got problems. Come to Jesus that he may save you. Come to Jesus that when you die, you will not go to hell. Hell is forever. This is not hell. You feel that breeze? There is no breeze in hell. Do you have a bottle of water? There is no water in hell. There's no fruits and vegetables in hell. There is no entertainment in hell. There is no mercy and grace from hell. You know, you go over there, because we have the right. You have the right. She has the right to do that. <laughs> Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. We have just as much right to offer tracts as much as we do to preach. They want to battle it out? Have them call the police and please say they can do it. Don't let them stop you. As long as you don't go on any private property, you have the right. This message has been proved by God and the police department. Listen, it's a wonderful thing to go to heaven. When we go to heaven through Jesus Christ, and only by Jesus Christ, there'll be no more pain, no more sorrow. The Bible says when we get to glory, Sir, the Bible says when we get to glory, we get a brand new body that will never sin. The Bible says we'll never die in glory. No more pain in glory. No more departing, no more saying goodbye to your loved ones in heaven. Forever to be with Jesus Christ who suffered and died for us. A body that won't sin, a body that won't die, a body that won't hurt, a body that will forever sing of the glories of Jesus. You can't sing, get saved, go to glory, and you'll sing forever. You got a backache? Get saved, die, go to glory, and God will give you a brand new body that won't have a backache no more. You 
you do not need to take your prescriptions to heaven. But you must first believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to get them benefits. And when you die, the Bible says, in Christ to be absent from the body and present with the Lord. When we all get to heaven by Jesus, oh, what the glory it will be. When we that are saved and see Jesus, what a glorious day that will be. Not only will you be saved by Jesus, you will meet Jesus, the one that saved you. Now, if you do not want Jesus and you reject, reject Jesus, you will see the one that caused you to reject Jesus, the devil. And you will go to hell with the devil. Oh, rest assured, if you go to hell, so will your God, the devil, go with you. My God will get victory over your God, the devil. But you can get victory over the devil through Jesus. You can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. The devil can't save you. He has no power. Listen, Jesus Christ is going to have him chained up for a thousand years coming up. But you can come out from the devil's power by the blood and the testimony and the finished work of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's glory, glory to the Lamb. The Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. You can't do nothing to save yourself. Nobody can do anything to save others. Listen, a sinner cannot save a sinner. Christ was sinless. Jesus was made sin for us, but he knew no sin. That the righteousness of God may be to us through him, through Jesus Christ. Listen, it is not my salvation I'm saved. It's Jesus' salvation. Yes, he does. Jesus said, I am the way. I go to church. That's not the way. I've been baptized. That's not the way. Philip told that Ethiopian eunuch, the Ethiopian, hey, what, what hinders me to be baptized? But you must believe on Jesus. And the eunuch says, I believe Jesus is the Son of God. And then he was baptized. Belief first, baptism later. That dying thief did not get baptized. That dying thief did not go to church. And Jesus said, today thou shalt be with me in paradise. How's that? You can go to heaven, but you cannot go to heaven outside of Jesus Christ. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Salvation rests. Upon what Jesus Christ has done. And only upon Jesus Christ. You can't say, I'm a Baptist and I'm going to heaven. That don't work. You've got to be washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. 
to go to heaven. You can't say, oh, I've been baptized. That don't work. You got to be of the association and of the salvation of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. In hell, you will want that little drop of water that you were baptized in just to cool your tongue. Whereas Jesus said, I am, Jesus said, I am the water of life. And he that drinketh of me shall never thirst again. That rich man held it all. Oh, give me a drop of water. Because he did not have the water of life. I will sing glory to Jesus forever. My mouth will never dry out in glory. Never. Jesus said, I come to save sinners. Paul says, I'm the chief of sinners. Paul, no, I'm the worst of sinners. Me. I'm a vile, wicked sinner that's going to hell, and only by the testimony, and only by the belief, and only by the work of Jesus Christ am I saved, and is my name written in the book of life. The Lamb's book of life. Don't come up and ask my name. I'll tell you a name. A name that's above all names. That there's no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. And that name is Jesus Christ. I am of no importance. John the Baptist says, he must increase, I must decrease. Heaven honors those that honor Jesus. And when you come to Jesus Christ and be saved, the angels in heaven rejoice. Some may say, oh, the angels in heaven don't want me. No, the angels in heaven want you to believe on Jesus to rejoice. The Bible wants you and says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. I'm quoting from a King James Bible. Now, I may mess up the quote. But the righteous word of God is the King James Bible in the Lord Jesus Christ, John 1. 1. And if I mess up the Bible, I need to repent. If I misquote the Bible, I have to re repent of my sins. But Christ, God, Jesus, don't ever mess up anything. It's to the glory of God. Prepare. Huh? I thought that guy was coming over here. He looked mad. We got the same right to, to pass out tracks on the sidewalk as anywhere else. I gave him a track. Uh, one of them got angry. No, that was him. It's because of a game, they can't get one. Oh, they can. But they're all been trained not to grab one. They have not. They're telling you so you walk away and quit. Because I saw some of them take them. Thank you. I can hear you loud and clear. I can everybody else. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You want God's love? God's love is Jesus. It ain't you. You're not holy enough for God to love. And the only holiness and righteousness that we have is through Jesus. And when we have God's righteousness and Jesus' righteousness 
and God's holiness and Jesus' holiness. When God loves us, it's because of God and Jesus, not me. Matthew 12 says, Every idle word shall man give account thereof. Everything that I say, I will have to give an account thereof. If I make a mistake in preaching, I'll have to give an account. If I talk idly and foolishly, I'm going to have to give an account. So will you. If we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins. And to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The glory of God is Jesus. Your glory is not your glory. But it can be the glory of Jesus. If you're to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. I mean, I know it's the same message and the same name, name every week. You get up and Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There's no other name. There's no other hope. There is no other salvation. There is nothing other than Jesus to preach. There's nothing that replaces the name of Jesus or Jesus himself. Your favorite ball team will have different players within 20 years. In 20 years, the players on your ball team will change their name. After a billion, billion years in eternity, Jesus' name doesn't change. As a matter of fact, the Bible teaches for Christians, we're going to get a new name. The name of Jesus does not ever change and get changed. The only name above all names to be saved is the name of Jesus and the glory of Jesus. The blessed hope, Jesus Christ. The mighty God, Jesus Christ. The great shepherd that is able and willing for you to be saved. The access you have to heaven is through Jesus Christ. <coughs> God's glory is for you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, you can, you can make angels happy. You can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. The angels will rejoice. There is no rejoicing. There is no glory in the world and in the devil. And the Bible says that, I mean, if you love the world, that you, you there's the enmity of God. God is pleased with what Jesus has done on the cross. He ain't pleased with what we do. There are people that do penance and penance whatever how you want to say it. God is not pleased. There are religions that kill people. God's not pleased. God does not approve. Religion is man-made. Jesus Christ is God approved.
You want something that the angels and God will worship? That's Jesus Christ. You want something that pleases the devil? Do it yourself. Get in a religion. Do anything contrary to the scriptures. And that pleases the devil. <laughs>